I did my schooling in St. Joseph's High School. And after I finished my high school, there is an option for us to go to the connecting college, which is called St. Xavier's. And those who get good marks go to other colleges. And <laughs> people like us who get less marks opt for St. Xavier's College. And it's very far away from our, from our school or from the city. So I joined St. Xavier's College. And very first day they wanted me to join the politics. Uh, because they, they, they came to know that I'm joining that college. So everybody came running behind me because I was very, very famous in my St. Joseph's school too. And I went and joined and very first class, very first class was English prose. That class I attended and within 15 minutes, that lecturer took my books back and threw it outside the door and asked me to get out and suspend it. <laughs> that was my life. And can you believe that when I joined St. Xavier's, before joining St. Xavier's, my 10th, my high school for my examination, the whole year I was under suspension. I hardly attended a week or two in the 10th standard <laughs> and I was suspended and I have to stand outside the gate throughout the year <laughs> when I passed the examination. I went to take the TC from my principal and he looked at me and said, you passed. <laughs> and my mom was always crying, what went wrong throughout in the school, you are already gone. Throughout the year, you were in the street, suspended. And I went to St. Xavier's very first day. First two minute I was suspended. Now how will I go back and tell? And from that I was... I tried to join another college. It's an arts college. And I entered the arts college every day calling my name. That was a devil's gang. They tried to rag me, and you know, automatically, like Putin's bomb in Ukraine, I, without knowing, my hand bombed. <laughs> that was my situation. Was when I saw Saint Xavier's. Saint Xavier. Oh, I thought, oh, I study, but I never study. Fifteen minutes, I was suspended. Thrown out of the college. Saint Francis Xavier, 7th April 1506, born in Xavier in Spain, took Samadhi on 3rd December 1552 in Jiangmen in China, was venerated as Saint Francis Xavier, was a Navarrese Catholic missionary and saint who was a co founder of the Society of Jesus. St. Francis Xavier said it is not the actual physical exertion that counts towards one's progress, nor the nature of the task, but by the spirit of faith with which it is undertaken. Yes, the spirit with which it is undertaken. That is where the Indian philosophy, the Indian Samskriti comes. It is not the actual physical exertion. You exert too much. You flow with the tide. And you don't even have to flow the, with the tide. You just move. Yes. There was a girl from Devanahalli. Her father was telling, please take my girl to Indrana. Please take my girl to Indrana. Girl. She was in fourth standard. Her name was Shailaja. And in Devanahalli, there's a lot of space to run. And the father was having a, what do you call, tar making road company uh, next door and he was the supervisor over there. He had got only one daughter. So we took uh, Shailaja from here and I gave admission in Indranagar to stay with our girls. 
and and everybody is shocked. She sh shot in all the games. Running, she's first. Sprint, she's first. Long distance, she's first. Kabaddi, before he could catch, she could be taken. <laughs> yes, it is from childhood that the child is given the freedom. And in that freedom, child doesn't feel there's exertion. It is not the actual physical exertion. There is no physical exertion. There is just beauty and love in that child. They said if you keep it, you hold it, it runs. If you keep it open, it stays. St. Francis, if you say, not the actual physical exertion that counts towards one's progress. Yes. Not the nature of the task, but by the spirit of the faith in which it is undertaken. And when I was, uh, I was the lecturer in St. Xavier's College, was speaking to everybody, telling, yes, I hope nobody has reached up to here without reading a complete book. And I stood up and said, I had never read a book in my life. Only for the examination sake, I read for last two months only the question answers and I passed. He thought I was joking. He said, shut up your mouth. I said, but I'm telling you the truth. People don't believe my truth. <laughs> Straight truth. I said, yes. And he came, he asked me to get out. I, when I refused to get out, he came and took my bag and threw it out and asked me to get out. He was also the school vice principal, so it was dangerous. <laughs> and from that day, I was thinking, why I was suspended? Did I tell something wrong that I never read a book? From that day, I started reading and reading and reading. Wherever I travel around the world, the customs officials will be checking, why so much of baggage? And they find the only books. <laughs> St. Francis Davis, it's not the actual physical exertion that counts towards one's progress, nor the nature of the task, but the spirit of the faith. You should have faith. You should have love. The faith and love melts like my Veena Kumari, how she cooks. It's just her, from childhood she's cooking. Veena Kumari is totally blind and she just, just, she makes it, she makes it. It is exact taste. The spirit of what she has, the faith of what she learned, with which it is undertaken. She undertakes it with love. And that love, we call it as gilly gilly tea. Gilly gilly cooking means a cook. When you cook, put a little bit of love into it. And that can happen when you don't have to send the children to the tuition classes. If there was a Sanskrit right down from your childhood, when if you are in your joint family, your joint family was broken. You made it break, or the people made it break. Hundred times said a lie life becomes a truth. Hitler said, and that has been practiced by the advertising company. They kept on telling lies and lies and lies. And then people are forced to leave the houses to go into pigeon holes. Nucleus family, and in the nucleus family, it is not the actual physical exertion. There's only physical exertion, and everybody thinks all man is thinking he must uh, do his push-ups on his wife. He must prove he's uh, he's doing some uh, mechanic. That is made mechanic. There is no law in the law making. When that happens, every action from there continues with physical exertion, trying to prove. You don't have to prove. You have to be in law. Let the world uh, talk about you. It is not the actual physical exertion that counts towards one's progress. It's not the actual working hard, hard and studying, but your practical Sanskrit. Once you read a particular thing, you can go to Sanskrit. The what you read becomes so cheap, so cheap. Yes. Nor the nature of the task, but by the spirit of faith in which it was undertaken. When I joined martial arts, I was naughty from my childhood. Every day without a fight, I have not come back to my house. And almost every class in St. Joseph's, without a fight, I have not gone to the second period. First period comes to the second period. And teacher slaps me, hit me, beat me, punch me. Whatever they do, the fight continued. And I thought, I have made so many enemies. I cannot move from one place to another. So I have to learn martial art. So I went to a martial arts center. And there are so many big people. They said, are you ready to fight? I said, yes. I went and gave one. <laughs> 
they fell down. I don't know much in Latin. But when I learn much in Latin, it became difficult for me to fight because I have to restrict it. The other one, it is not the actual physical exercise. No physical exercise. It is the way of life that I have been practicing. It just the hand mood, the leg mood. Boom. And then I won. St. Francis Xavier said, it is not the actual physical exertion that counts towards one's progress, nor the nature of the task, but the spirit of faith with which it is undertaken.